In this lecture, let's learn and understand what function overloading is and how it can be useful for us while writing certain functionality in our application. And to understand that, let's go to VS Code and let's first try to understand where we might need function overloading. So here I have created a very simple function called addition, which takes two values as parameter. Now these values can be a string value or number value. So here we have also created a type string or number, which can store a value of either string type or number type. And the type for these parameters A and B is also string or number. Now, when we are going to call this addition function, there we can pass string values for those parameters, or we can also pass numeric values for those parameters. When we are passing string values, we want to concatenate the value of those string values, and we are returning the concatenated string. But if we are passing two numbers, in that case, we want to add those two numbers, and we want to return the result of the addition. Right. So here, when I'm calling this addition function, and when I'm passing these two string values it is going to return us a string value right it is going to return us the concatenated string and let's say on that string i want to use a string method called split so this split is a string method which we can use on any string value but here when i'm trying to use this split method on the string value you see we are getting this error now what is the error here it says split does not exist on type string or number here, the return type for this function is string or number. So it can either return a string value or number value. Now this split method, it is present on string value, but it is not present on number value. So here TypeScript does not know what type of value this expression is going to return. It knows that it can return a string value or number value, but when it will return a string value and when it will return a number value, that is not clear. So that is the problem here. Now, how to resolve this problem? For this, we can use function overloading. Now, in function overloading in TypeScript, what we do is here we have created this addition function. And we know that this addition function can take two parameters and those parameters can be of a string value or number value. So based on the type of parameter, we can return a specific value. For example, here we can use this function keyword. Again, we can name the function as addition. So this is very important that the function name must be same as the function which you want to overload. Okay, and here we can specify that this function is going to take two parameters, A of type number and B of type number. And in this case, when both the parameters are of type number, it should return a numeric value. So this is the first overload. Now what will happen is whenever we will pass to numeric values, we know that we are going to receive a number in the result. That's what we are setting here. We are specifying here. In the same way, this addition function can also receive two parameters of type string. Right, so A will be of type string, B will be of type string. And when both the parameters will be string, in that case, the return value should be a string type. And as soon as I do that, if I save the changes here, you see here we have the error, but this error is because here we need to pass a separator. Maybe I can pass comma or something in order to split the string. But as you will see that as soon as I have added this overload where we are taking two string values and returning a string, that error is gone. So now we are able to use this split method on the value returned by this addition function. Because now TypeScript knows that this addition function is going to return a string value when both the parameters of type string. And on that string value, we can use this split method. Then here for this addition method, there will be two other combinations like when we are passing a number and a string and a string and a number. So that also you can add. Actually, let me go ahead and let me add that. So to this addition function, we can also pass the first parameter as a numeric value and the second parameter as string. But in that case also, the result will be string because it will concatenate the string value with the number value. And same thing is true when we are passing the first parameter as string and second parameter as number. Okay, let's save the changes. So here we know that when we are passing two strings to this addition function, it is going to return us a string, so we are able to use the split method. But if I try to use the split method on 
this addition call where we are passing two numbers there it should not allow us to use split method because as you can see it says split does not exist on type number so this is correct so this is how we do function overloading in typescript okay so i hope the use case as well as how to use function overloading is clear to you this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day